What's going on YouTube? Big Jer, back with you guys again. And today, we're gonna to be talking about a new plugin that I just came across. And every once in a while, you come across a plugin that just, just tickles you in the right spot. And I wanna share that with you guys. This one's by Sick Individuals, it's called Focus One. Let's get into it. Okay, so this is one of those plugins that want you to rely more on your ear than what you think you should do to the sound. This is evident by the names they give to their parameters, like we've got focus, boost, drive, widen, pulse, and then they all have extreme modes, okay? So everything's very vague. They want you to play with the knobs and put your sound into focus and boost your sound, widen your sound. You know what I mean? Like general kind of things to get the producer to get the result that they want in their mind without being too technical. But I think it's worth exploring uh, a little a little under the hood here so we can see exactly what's going on, so we can make intelligent decisions. Now, Ask Audio already did a very good detailed kind of analysis of this. Um, on everything except for the focus, they didn't really touch upon that, and I'm pretty sure I know exactly what that is, so we'll we'll talk about that. But I would like to reference you to them. I'll leave a link in the uh, description, and I'm actually going to put their theories into practice. Cool. Let's get into the first one. First one is focus, okay? And it is an advanced, and this is right off their page, okay? An advanced compression that slams your sound in a unique way, toughening up your mix. Let's see if all that's true. Okay, cool. So that was a uh, little little drop I'm working on. No big deal. A little sketcheroony. But the main lead, we've got the focus one on. So I wanted to start this off by letting you guys kind of hear what it did, right? So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pop it up, and and just so we could check it out for shizzle, like check this out. So it does, it does make it a, a lot more present, warmer, thicker, wider, all of the above. And I might as well just bring this back to the default, duh. Okay? And I will go ahead and turn all these off. So the first thing I want to look at is just the focus here. Okay? So we're going to pop this guy up to 100%, pop this guy up to 100%, and then I'm going to toggle back and forth. So here we go. Did you hear a difference? I didn't. Let's try again. Okay, so pretty much without a doubt, turning up uh, focus all the way to 100% is the exact same as adding an OTT and turning up your depth. I think that's pretty, pretty much an open shut case. So does it toughen up your mix? Absolutely. Does it add focus? Sure. I think this is great. I use OTT almost on every one of my sounds to even out or focus my sound. Um, so I think it's a great, it's a great thing to have there in your arsenal. Um, I don't tend to mess with the, um, you know, with the bands too much. Um, the only other thing I would really play with might be the time and the um, and or the amount of downward compression percent. But, um, you know, to have an OTT right on deck um, with the depth knob right there. Yeah, I love it so far. All right, let's move on. All right, next up is going to be Boost. Boost is a specialized EQ to boost your leads. Enhance your sound and cut through the mix. Again, this is right off their website. So... Let's get in there and see exactly what's happening. Okay, so I got ourselves a uh, little piano kind of thing here and just a little percussion loop in the background. And we're gonna be taking a look at this piano loop. So here it is, focus one. And what I've done is um, I've got the boost all the way up, okay? So now let's take a listen to this and then let's see what's going on. Now 
and I'll go ahead and turn on and off extreme mode. All right, so it sounds good, but what the hell is it doing? So what I did was uh, I went over here and I opened up a um, ozone EQ, okay? And I went to the matching section, okay? So under analog, you can go to matching and the yellow curve is going to be the piano unaffected. And the blue curve is going to be after I, um, after I applied uh, all the boost and had the most extreme setting on. So I wanted to see what the most extreme setting was. Okay, so I've got smoothing at 50%, so just not much, and then 50% of the amount. So what's going on here, what we're looking at, and I'll try to make it just a little bit bigger, this white curve is what it's actually doing to my signal. So um, yeah, you can see how there's like a little boost right here, okay? And then it kind of boosts off here and then rolls down. So you can see kind of what's happening to your signal, okay? So it's kind of uh, it's kind of making it sound just a little bit beefier, a little bit bigger. Um, and all in all, I like what it does. All right, let's get over to the next one. Third up is gonna be drive. Now, drive adds a high resolution distortion to give crunch and punch add harmonics to your sound. Well, let's see exactly what kind of harmonics we're adding to our sound. All right, so to kind of test what's going on with, uh, with the drive, um, got myself a operator. Okay, it's just gonna give me a pure sine wave. And I've got a spectrum here that we could use to analyze this. And I've got a focus one, okay? Everything is gonna be turned off, off, off and off. And we're just gonna be focusing in on this drive here, okay? So I'm gonna to try, to try to get out of the way as much as I can. I'm gonna play a note. Play a little higher so you could hear it. There we go. Okay, so basically you got yourself a pretty pure sine wave. As I add this, there we go, we've introduced a few harmonics. A couple more. All right, so you can see what's happening here. So if we're looking at it, okay, we know it was a pure sine wave, and now we've got this. Awesome. So we've got, looks like, evenly distributed harmonics to help this exactly cut through the mix a little bit. Let's add the extreme mode and see what happens there. Okay. Oh yeah, we just get all the harmonics then. Okay, so with this, looks like we've get, um, we get specific harmonics with this, and then with this, we just get them all. Make it really jam through. All right. Well, there's drive. All right, next up is widen. Let's see what they say about widen. A mid side effect that opens up your stereo image, adding substantial size to your mix. Make everything sound huge. All right. Can't wait to check this one out. Okay, so let's see what's going on with widen. So um, we got basically a um, mid-side volumizer, right? But maybe a little bit more than that because that would be kind of equivalent to one of, one of my other favorite plugins that I use uh, all the time, right here you, is Center Stereo by Waves. And this is really great because it basically gives you control of your center signal and your side signal. Okay, so this is something that I use quite often. So if this, if this, if this ends up being cool, you know, this is going to be another thing that I definitely use. So let's take a look at um, this imager here from Ozone. And we got the uh, vector scope. And let's go ahead and take a look at, let's add width. And let's see what it looks like normal. Okay, so there's definitely mid and side information. Okay, so let's see what happens when we um, increase widen. Well, that's great. So it's definitely widening our signal. I could hear that, uh, but it's also it's keeping the um, it's keeping it mono compatible, which I'm noticing as well. That was something I definitely wanted to check. So this will still sound nice in a um, in a mono situation. So so again, this is going to be really amazing because this is something that you we do all the time anyway, right? Cool. So let's see what happens in the extreme case. So that is pretty extreme. Um, it's pretty much flattened it out so we hear it almost only in the size. It's still gonna be uh, mono um, compatibility, 
but um, it is definitely uh, mainly on the sides. Uh, at, least, at least that's where my ears go. One thing that I want to call your attention to is adding the extreme mode will kind of start to put this into the red. Same thing happened in the drive. I just didn't mention it. You know, I wouldn't worry about that. You know, you got yourself something like a glue compressor to catch the peaks at the end. You're not going to distort. So, you know, you're, you're being, this is super extreme anyway. So you might as well go ahead and just clip off the ends, right? Awesome. Let's get to pulse. And finally, we have pulse. A smart tremolo effect automatically sync to your BPM. Create excitement and energy. All right, let's check this guy out. All right, pulse is pretty easy to see um, what it does. This is going to be adding like a um, voluming LFO, right? And this is going to give us that stutter effect. So let me turn it off extreme real fast. Let me go ahead and turn it on. And I'm just going to get us a, a simple little sine, um, sine wave. Yeah, that's all. And I'm going to go ahead and just so you could just a constant sine wave so you could hear what it does. And what it's going to do is add another sine wave to it to, you know, adjust or uh, modulate the volume. Cool. And then the only difference between extreme mode is going to be um, it's going to take that sine wave much like the auto pan does if i have a sine wave um the much like the shape knob here this as i uh, as i put this on what it's going to do is it makes it more of a square wave so it makes it definitely more choppy in my opinion this is a great little tool to have at the end of our chain to give any one of our sounds a little bit of uh, pizzazz there obviously all these things can be automated so the last thing I want to make sure we understand is, um, and we've already been kind of auditioning these, um, each one of these modules has a, an extreme mode. Um, and what it says is, switch to extreme mode and push your mix beyond the limits. Make it sick. Well, that's pretty good marketing, I guess, since sick individuals um, made it. It's all just extreme, like more, you know, so, and we've already seen that, so I just wanted to call your attention to that. So let's kind of put this guy into action and uh, let me show you how quickly we can put any sound into focus. Okay, here we go. Now that was just like literally like 10 seconds, you know, and let's listen to it before and after. I mean, it's night and day. You can't even compare the two. And, you know, having to add an OTT, having to boost your, you know, EQ unit, having to add some saturation, having to get, you know, center stereo or mid side going, and then maybe bring in some type of an auto pan or tremolo effect. I mean, this is a one-stop shop, and uh, I I'm in love, for sure. I'm in love. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that under-the-hood look at the uh, Sick Individuals Focus One. I I'd pick it up if I were you guys. I'll leave a link down there in the description. I think it's 49.95 euros. Not sure what that is in dollars, but I think Google's got converters. All right, guys. Remember, if you found this useful, please like and subscribe. We're doing really well with the followers. I'm able to keep making these videos for you. We're going to keep the, the symbiotic relationship working. Help me help you. We'll Jerry Maguire this bitch together. All right? I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.